Okay, this is an assignment called Coffee Buddy. The purpose of it is to uh, practice your CSS skills. So in this assignment, you will write an HTML file and a CSS file. Okay. So what I give you to start is the design document and then the starter assets. The starter assets folder contains all the images that you need to create the final web page. If we take a look at the design document, it is a PDF and it's a mock-up, a desktop layout mock-up for a fake company called Coffee Buddy. So we have their main logo in the upper left, that's their brand. We have the primary navigation bar on the right. And then we have below that, this hero image, which says coffee is great. We all like coffee, you like coffee, give us your money. And below that there's some text, and then we have a couple of cards. That's what these components are called. And then below that is a, what we call a call to action. And the little call to action button says apply for a job. At the very bottom, we have our footer with a secondary navigation or a footer nav. Um, and then below that is the design guide specification where I give you the color palette and the Google font that we're going to use for this design. So before we can write any HTML, we have to look at this design document, this mockup, and we have to identify the structure of it. We know that this is a logo and we know that this is the navigation bar, and we're going to have to write HTML for this content. Um, but we have to think about what are the headings that identify the different content areas, and then what kind of grouping, or like what's the grouping structure that we have? Uh, so for example, if we look at these cards, we have two pictures side by side, but when you think about it, the pictures I guess the design, the way that's designed, these pictures are associated with the text below it. So there's a picture, there's text, like a, a heading, and then below that there's paragraph text. And then adjacent to it is another card with a picture, uh, some heading text, and then some paragraph text below that. This is how we, this, this is a structure that we can identify. So when we write our HTML, we uh, code it in a way that groups these different design components together uh, into one block or one group. Uh, the other thing we have to look at is what images are going to be content. For example, for example, the Coffee Buddy logo is, is content that has to appear and screen readers should identify that to the user. But then the beans in the hero image are really just decorative. It's a background image and it's not critical to the content. It, it enhances the visual look of it, but if you were to close your eyes and someone was going to read you this web page, they probably wouldn't really describe the beans. They would read the text inside here. This is the main message. Okay, so that's how I would uh, start to look at this design document. And then I'm going to use that, use these ideas to code my HTML. Now the approach I take isn't necessarily the only way to do it. There's lots of different ways to create the same result, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to code this in several different videos and you can follow along. You can branch off and do your own thing. Um, the goal is to uh, learn CSS layout and learn these techniques and get used to this process of breaking down a design document uh, and constructing the code from that. So that's it for my introduction video. Uh, in the next video, we'll start coding. Thanks for watching.